All right. <clears throat> I don't do unboxings, but uh, I'm going to do this one. Uh, it's not really going to be an unboxing per se. More of I want to prove what Monoprice has been boasting. This is the Monoprice Select Mini 3D Printer V2. It uh, was 220 bucks on Amazon. I bought it from a reseller. Uh, it was not used. It was not refurbished. Uh, brand new inbox. Uh, anyway, it was very well packed, double boxed, uh, hard foam. And it came with everything that you need, even some starter filament. Uh, it wasn't much filament, but I bought a uh, Hatchbox PLA, 1.75 diameter. And uh, it works great. So there's the instruction booklet. Um, make sure that you check the box. Find out which side is which because they packed some of the items on the outside of the foam. You don't want to pull it out and your stuff fall out. So uh, carefully pull your foam out. After you see which side it has, you'll see it's got the power, power supply and your uh, test filament. So there's the test filament. The power supply, uh, the actual wall outlet and power box, the power brick, whatever you want to call it, that end of it. The rest of it is inside the, uh, the hard foam. So I'll go ahead and pull that off. There's the Monoprice Select Mini. It's about the size of a small Keurig, which I really liked about it. They're boasting that uh, this is the cheapest printer uh, for its for its value. There's the micro SD card, the uh, mini cable, mini USB cable, and the spool holder, and then the other side of the power cord and a scraper. Anyway. Uh, the next thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to zero out your your printable area. Uh, that means you're going to take your Allen wrench and you're going to make sure that all four corners of the pad are slightly below. Uh, uh, when you put that piece of paper between the nozzle and the bed, you should feel a little bit of resistance, but not much. Uh, so you'll want to uh, tighten down the screws or loosen the screws, depending upon if you need it to go down or up. Uh, here I'm putting a quarter turn on each of them to drop the pad down some to put more of a gap between the nozzle and the bed. Uh, when I got it, it was scraping the bed. And then you can load up. Uh, it comes with its own file, uh, a, a, test, a test print. Uh, I didn't print off the whole thing. I just got it started and let it run. Uh, and true to what they say, you can pull it straight out and start printing. Uh, I will make mention here that the software that, that comes with it, I forget what it's called, it was okay for a beginner to start with, but it really was crap. Uh, you should really think about putting out the $150 for Simplify 3D. It will make your life so much easier. Your the quality of the prints are noticeably better and the time in which it takes to print is significantly reduced. Uh, so there you have it. The Monoprice Select Mini 3D printer really does print straight out of the box.